Hi, I'm Brian Gonzalez, one of the instructors for the LA County uh, Golf Program. Uh, here to help you with a few tips uh, for your swing and your game, and hopefully it'll help you out. All right. We're going to start off with the first thing uh, is our grip, which there's two different kinds of grips we can use. One is the overlap grip, and one is the interlock grip. Yeah. The first one is the overlap, where we're going to take our right pinky finger and just rest it in the slot over our left index finger, and that would be our overlap grip. Hands together, lightly just resting, overlapping the other hand. The second grip is the interlock grip, which is similar to that, but we just interlock the same pinky and the finger in like that, and it's still connected as well. So both of the grips will work very well. It's just more of a preference on which one you would like to use. If you're right-handed, you're gonna put your left hand on first, and then your right hand. And again, we want both hands connected down the shaft here. We don't want them spread apart, okay? Either overlap or interlock together. And that's pretty much a basic grip you can use for you know any any golf shot either one key is just take a nice natural stance relaxing you know about shoulder width apart with your feet okay and we're going to be real relaxed and kind of let our arms relax and hang loosely we don't want to be too tense or too rigid we want to be nice and relaxed we want to be about shoulder width apart okay nice and relaxed position and for most of our irons, we're gonna play the ball right in the middle of our stance, in between our two feet. We don't want it way up here like this, and we don't want it way back here like this. We want it just about in the middle. So for the stance, if we move to the left or to the right, we're gonna still play the ball in the middle of our stance. So if I aim left, although my feet are pointing left, the ball is still in the middle of my stance. Then we have to move more to the right, then it's the same thing. We would adjust our body over to the right, but the ball would still be in the middle of the stance. So wherever we aim, it's still going to be in that universal middle position. And the key to the stance here is keeping our balance. We want to make a nice swing and keep our balance. So we're going to make a full back swing and a full follow through all the way through. Okay, we don't want to make a short chopping motion or stopping motion. We want a nice fluid swing back and through. Okay, now we have a seven iron. So we're going to play it about the middle of our stance between our two feet. Nice and relaxed. Our grip's good here. And the key to getting the shots up in the air is we have to hit down on the ball. We have to hit down on the bottom of the ball into the mat to produce the spin to get it up in the air. If we try to lift it, we're going to end up hitting low grounders and we're going to end up hitting the top of the ball versus the bottom of the ball. So when we, when we do it right and we get it up in the air, we really have to swing and pull down and hit down on the ball just back and through. You also want to focus on your head. Your head position wants to stay down looking at the ball. If we swing or in a rush to look up and see our shot, we're going to come up too early and usually hit low grounders or low line drives. So it's really important to feel like you're going to hit the ball first and then look up after. It's kind of like a delayed motion. So you really want to keep your head down until after you hit the shot and then you can look up and go ahead and see it. And if you can really control your head, you can swing without even looking up at all. And that'll produce much better shots for you, keeping your head down and better contact. But if we tend to come up a little early, we're gonna hit bad shots and low line drives as well. We wanna make sure that our stance, we have plenty of room to swing. If we get in here too close like this, we don't have any room to swing. So we need to make sure that our arms can kind of hang out in front of us nice and relaxed. So we want to have no tension, relaxed, good balance, and keep our head down. And then we can look up and see it after. Stance, grip, eyes on the wall, and nice smooth swing with good balance.